All right, guys, I've been getting a lot of questions about how I got my snowmobiles rigged for ice fishing, and people want to see my rigs. I usually take them around to my seminars that I do at clubs and stuff like that. Uh, today, we'll, we'll do a walk around, and I'll show you exactly how I got my snowmobiles rigged. So let's flip you around, and here's my rig right here. And this one here, it's not the newest one in the fleet, but it's the one I like. It's rigged for me, so... We'll go through the we'll go through some of the some of the important stuff and then we'll get to the to the cool rigging. So the first thing that you want on your snowmobile is studs. And this one here, she's studded up all the way around. And uh, good carbides on the front. That way when you get yourself into trouble, this thing stops. And if you gotta go, it'll it'll hook and go. So there's uh, one thing that you gotta have on your snowmobile rigged. The next thing we got is sometimes we have a, a huge lack of snow on the ice and you gotta put scratchers on. Well, I don't really like the scratchers that go on the tracks back here. The cables, they kind of suck. They throw some snow behind your track, but it doesn't get under. What I use is the ski mount there's a lot of down pressure on them carbides. Let's see if I can clean some, clean some of the snow off. And they just lift up and down, hook back in. Those seem to do a lot better for me than the cable scratchers. I just, I don't like the cable scratchers. The only bad thing about them is you can bend them up if you forget to put them up back and out of the trailer or something. Um, Let's go to the auger mount. Everybody wants to know how I got my auger mount on there. Well, I run a digger auger mount and I get these at Frank's Great Outdoors. And there is some keys to making these perform properly too. Um, the LXT snowmobiles that I run usually come with a small bumper up here. So what I do is I go online and I buy these bigger, thicker bumpers because you can snap them, the smaller ones. I buy these, they're called Pro Ride bumpers from Polaris. They're like 200 bucks, but they will take the vibration of the, of the auger being up front from that digger auger mount. So that's how I got that set up. Now we'll move up to the front. And you can see I got my Garmin mounted in the front. And the way I mount this is all your new snowmobiles come with adjustable risers. You can, you can stack these up to put the handlebars wherever you want them. So I just take a plate. That's aluminum plate. I went to the metal fab shop, had a punch four holes in it, bolted it to the riser, and then I screwed my Garmin you know, my unit uh, bracket to that. Now this, always, always, always run your unit to the battery. Guys try putting them to the key and that doesn't work because you will lose your trail when you shut the key off. It'll save your waypoints, sure, but it loses your trail. And there's a lot of times you go out, you gotta go around some bad stuff so you wanna, you wanna keep your trail on there. That's, I think that's more important than your waypoint. The Garmin's come with very good mapping, so you can always get back to, you know, the hump or the finger or the rock pile or whatever you're fishing, but you wanna keep that trail right there. You don't wanna lose your trail. So that's why that's always hardwired, always to the battery and not the key. It's never in a cigarette lighter plug because the cigarette lighter plugs usually shut off with a key too. That's a no-no, a big no-no. So, shut him back off. Uh, another thing I run is muffs. These mitts, they're clear. I can see my controls through them. And I don't even have to run gloves with these. I run a light pair of gloves. I turn on my heated hand warmers. Keeps, uh, keeps all the wind off of me. You know, and, and I don't have a frozen thumb from the throttle and stuff when I get in. Of course, my heated shield so I can see. Uh, what else do we got here? 
let's go back to the storage okay so i used to run my monster boxes on here but they sat up real high and they actually made it top heavy so i run my i run my otter monster boxes on my quads and i just haven't figured out a way to get these on you know get them on here yet without cutting the brackets down there that hold up the second person for the seats so as of right now we just run the square boxes this one's got a lot of junk in it because i carry a lot of extra stuff like first aid kit a jump box spare 40v battery pins lights gloves diet mountain dew and i'll throw my sonar in there uh anything that is valuable that i don't want broken i put in that box such as my sonars and stuff because i want them on suspension i don't want them flopping around in my tub like a like a popcorn popper heading out on the saginaw bay now here's how i mounted my box i got a pin on each side I can pull that. I can pull that pin. And let's see if I can get this thing. I gotta set you down for a minute here. There we go. It's hard to do holding the camera. Now I can take that box off and remove it. And we can head to the pub to watch the game or get a beer. We ain't got to drag that box around with us if we just want to go riding on a Friday or Saturday night. So, of course, the throw bag in case somebody gets into trouble. And that's how I got it mounted. This here is just, I got a piece of rubber under there, stainless steel. I punched a couple holes through it and put, uh, you know, little C-clamps on it. TIG welded some stainless up here on a just on a on a plate that I bent and that ain't going anywhere so put some rubber around it so I don't scratch the snowmobile up you gotta think about resale but yeah that's how we got it rigged up give you one more walk around it and that's my rig right there <coughs> Oh, another thing, buy the hitch, the heavy-duty hitch that goes with your snowmobile. Polaris comes with a little tiny flapper hitch, but it pulls off real easy. So this here is an added accessory right here for Polaris. We had to buy that heavy-duty hitch, mounts to the tunnel. That way I can pull two, three otters at once with no problem. But that's how we're rigged, guys. Talk to you later.